Alright, so Green Day has a new album coming out this year, and if you've seen my old videos on this channel, you'll know I'm a massive, massive Green Day fan. I originally, on my channel, was going to do a series of Green Day reviews and review every album of theirs. I stopped doing that because the first two videos in that series I made were really not that good. I just didn't know how to properly make a review, and I still don't, but especially back then, I just kind of jumped into it without knowing what the fuck I was doing, so they weren't very good videos, so I kind of abandoned the whole plans to review everything. I still might talk about all those albums, but um, I'm still a huge, huge Green Day fan, and I've been waiting for them to release a new album for like four years now. Um, I got the Uno Dos Trey Trilogy, when they came out, I listened to them all in one sitting. And, uh, I mean, those albums are pretty mixed at this point. Fans don't really know what they think about it. I'd say the majority of people thought they were disappointing. Um, I personally am a defender of them. I didn't think it should have been three albums. I think it could have just been one album, but I still think there's some good stuff on those albums. and some honestly fantastic material. Um, but finally, after four years, we finally are getting a new Green Day album. And I was absolutely stoked until yesterday where my absolutely ecstatic excitement turned into cautious optimism. They announced that Bang Bang was coming out and they actually gave a release date. I couldn't have been more excited. I was actually working at the time, and uh, I told my boss, like, I gotta go to the bathroom right now, and I, um, I just plugged in, and I cranked the shit, and I jammed out to that song with a big fucking goofy grin on my face, because Bang Bang was incredible. It, it was such a, it was such a nice thing to hear. I mean, coming off of the Uno Dos Trey trilogy, which I, like I said, liked, but still had a sound that nobody really wanted. Just for them to come back with this, you know, more heavy punk sound, it was so nice to hear. And the song is great, I still listen to it consistently. And they followed that up with Revolution Radio, which I didn't like quite as much, but I still thought was pretty darn fantastic. And then I heard uh, Ordinary World, which was a acoustic song that Billy wrote a while back that he premiered live, um, that's apparently on the album so, and, and that song is great. I also really thought it was a beautiful song. So I, I was like, this album is going to be perfect. There is like, no way they can fuck up on this album. I mean, they're three, they're three and O oh here. Wicked. But I woke up yesterday and my good friend Mike Frizzle uh, let me know that Green Day put out a new song. I fell asleep before they released it. And so I was, I was tired of shit, but I still, um, plugged in, listened to the song, and I was pretty fucking disappointed with it. Uh, it sounded instantly like Simple Plan, which is not a good thing. Um, the production was so cheesy, and I just thought the, the lyrics and the chorus were really over the top. The woe woes that come in at the end was just so cringy, and I hate to use that word. I, I, I don't like sounding like one of these leafy as here motherfuckers, but the song did make me cringe. And I, I feel so bad for saying that, because I love Green Day. I just can't defend that song, man. It, it was bad. And I know a lot of people like it. I know it's the type of song that can appeal to a lot of people going through a rough time in their lives. I totally understand, and if you like the song, that's fine. But it really stunted my excitement for the album. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I am now cautiously optimistic moving forward. And another thing about this song is I know a lot of people, just by reading the comments, I get the sense that people are very defensive about this song because it is very personal for Billy Joe. I mean, the guy went to rehab and there's been a bunch of terrible things that have happened in his life. And that's kind of what the song is about is you know, surviving everything and, and moving forward, but I want to stress that I I think, I totally think that the meaning of the song is quite beautiful. I just don't think the song is good. I think the song is kind of ass. <laughs> I mean, I could write a song with a good meaning, 
that's complete dog shit. And it doesn't mean you, you have to like it, or it doesn't mean that it's bad to dislike it because it, it has a good meaning. I mean, I could go, It's okay for gay people to get married, and black people are pretty cool. We shouldn't discriminate against people. Don't do drugs. All right, sorry about that. I I'm not saying that's what the song sounds like, obviously. I'm just making a point that it's okay to like the meaning of a song without caring for the song. Okay? We understand that? I I'm just throwing it out there because I know the Green Day mob is going to want to, you know, crucify me upside down for saying anything bad about a Green Day song. So I'm just putting that out there. Still, if I had to put out a guess, I think the album's probably going to kick ass, because to be honest, there isn't really a Green Day album I dislike. Even Dose, which I think is their weakest project, I still like certain songs on there. So they've had an incredibly consistent discography, and I mean, I've been a huge defender of some of the songs that and albums that people don't like, like 21st Century Breakdown, I mean, I've always championed that album, but I can't defend this song. It sounds like some bullshit. Uh, pop rock, simple plan, top 40 garbage, and I'm not one of these people who is obsessed with Green Day being punk and oh, it's not punk. I, I, I don't give a shit, okay? I, I wouldn't care if Green Day put out a country album. I, I honestly wouldn't care as long as it was good. I don't think the song is good, and it might just, it might grow on me, who knows, maybe. The new Blink-182 album that I previously thought was okay but still disappointing really grew on me and now I actually think it's pretty good. That might happen, but I have my doubts. I've listened to the song many times and I still don't like it at all. But I don't want to let that song ruin my excitement. I'm still incredibly pumped to hear Revolution Radio. Um, I do think uh, the title is a little bit silly and the song Revolution Radio, as much as I thought it was fantastic, was a little bit you know, kind of that classic Billy Joe, edgy political, you know, revolution radio, operation no control, yo. You know, it has that sort of, we're trying too hard to be edgy and rebellious, but I mean, if the music is great, it's fine. So, I mean, to me, the things I'm excited about and the thing, there, there's more good stuff here than bad stuff. 